Hello friends, in this video let's add some click listeners to interact with the recycler view. In the adapter file, open it, and at the view holder level, extend two more classes, view on click listener and view on long click listener. The simple click listener will serve to launch the player activity, while the long click listener will be used to activate addition mode to rename and delete items. Now implement these methods here, implement members and select all of them, the two of them, and we have them here. Okay, so let's activate them inside the init method. Just get the item view set on click listener to be this. And this refers to this one here because this class extends on click listener. So it is on click listener. Also set on long click listener and give it this also because this class is also on long click listener. At runtime, Android Studio knows which one to pass here. Now what? When an item is clicked in the recycler view, we'd like to start the player activity that we don't have yet. It would not be clean at all to do it here inside the adapter as we should keep the logic in the activity file as much as possible. So we need a way to tell the activity when a click happens so it knows when to start the other activity. And that's what callback functions are for. We have to create an interface with two functions, one for each click kind, and then make the activity extend it and pass it through to the adapter. And when the onClick or onLongClick methods receive a click event in the adapter, they should fire callback functions to the activity. So let's code it, it will be much clearer. First, create a new interface, new Kotlin class file, choose interface, and name it on item click listener. Inside the interface, declare two functions. First one on item click listener, give it a parameter, a position to know which element in the recycler view has been clicked. Do the same thing with the second function on item long click listener with a position 2 and you should be wondering why there is no brackets. That's because this is an interface and interface methods do not have bodies. Their logic will be implemented by the class implementing the interface. Because the interface is a kind of contract between two classes so that class A accomplishes a task for class B without seeing its details. So the adapter will check when the click listener happens and will inform the main activity to do something without any of them knowing anything about the other. So let's head to the gallery activity and make it extend the just created interface on item click listener. Here we should implement our methods on item click and long click listener at the bottom here. And for now, just make them toast message This one should display simple click for the simple click and long click for the long click. Now for the adapter to be able to fire these callback functions, it needs to be aware of the interface. So add it as a second parameter just here and it should be this. Because remember, as we did earlier, the gallery activity extends on item click listener. So it is also an item click listener. So by typing this, we're actually saying this one, not this one and the run environment knows which one to pass. So it's underlined in red because the adapter activity is still not waiting for something else except the records. So let's add another parameter, name it var and, and name it listener. Of course, of type on item click listener. Okay, now here, when the item is clicked, we should get the current position with the adapter position which is a property of the recycler view class. And then we should check if this position is real. And if so, just call the listener with the on item click function and give it the position. Let's just copy this and do the same thing here on long click. And instead of calling on item click listener, let's call on item long click listener. So when the element is clicked, it will call this function of the listener, which is this one here. And when the other one, the unlock click listener is fired, then this function should be called. So here we should return something for the unlock click. It should return a Boolean. So make it always return true. Now let's test this. For now we have nothing. Give it a moment to compile and we should have some toast there. Okay, open it and if we click, 
you have simple click. If you long click, you have a long click. So that's it for this one. In the next video, we'll start working on the player activity to listen to our records. Thank you for watching and see you soon.